So here's the deal, TypeScript errors kind of suck. In this video, I'm going to show you a way to make them way more readable so you can actually tell what's going on in the error. And some errors are way easier to understand than others. Take this for example, I've prepared two TypeScript errors and the first one is really simple. I'm just trying to import a component that doesn't exist. And it says, cannot find name, this component doesn't exist. Chances are, these errors are not the ones we're talking about. These are pretty easy to understand, so you get the gist of it. But then there are errors like this. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? Type category string, stat string, data is not assignable to what the hell? Now it doesn't have to be that way. Let's take a look at the anatomy of a TypeScript error. All of this, you just saw all the stuff up here, this is the same error as we just take a look at. It's ugly crap that nobody wants to take a look at. Even though the data in there is quite valuable, it just looks ugly as hell. Chances are the stuff at the bottom is way more important. The last one or two sentences is what really matters in TypeScript. For example, the property that we're even talking about, it's something called category. Then the type that we are passing and the type we are expected to pass that doesn't match. So in plain English, understandably for everyone, this would mean for category, the property you passed undefined, but you should pass string. And that makes sense because if we take a look at the data that we're trying to pass, we can see each entry in this array has properties category, stat, and data. Category, stat, and data. However, stat and data and not category for the last entry. So that is the error. But that is surprisingly hard to tell by just hovering over the TypeScript error. And if we insert this, then the error will be gone and we can get rid of the component that doesn't exist. In that case, all the TypeScript errors are fixed. But to show you how to make the TypeScript errors way prettier, I'm gonna leave this commented out and let's go to the VS Code extensions. They are right here. And there is an extension called you can find it under pretty TypeScript by typing that in pretty TypeScript errors. And once we enable this, you can see the errors are gonna get way better. And let's hover over this. You can see the top, it's the original error that is not changed. But below that, we can see the error looks way better now. However, note the error is the same, just the syntax highlighting is different. The error is actually the same as up here. The code is the same, but it just looks way better in the extension. So just by hovering over this, we can easily tell, okay, stat doesn't change, data doesn't change, but category now has a question mark and is undefined. So, okay, there's the error. We need a category that we're not passing. It's really easy to tell from the modified error we get with the extension, but it's surprisingly hard to tell from the original. And the way at the bottom, you can also see what we just took a look at in the TypeScript error anatomy. You can see the property that is affected, the type that we are passing, and the type that is expected in a really clean way. It's easy to tell what the hell we're even doing wrong. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this quick tip and make work of it in your projects to understand and better work with TypeScript. I wish you the best of luck and a lot of fun building your own cool shit with it. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.